Hi and welcome to episode 28 of the Apocalyptic Knitter podcast. I am Naomi and I'm coming to you from a very damp Leeds in West Yorkshire where I live with my husband, my young son and our cat. It is Sunday the 3rd of November. Um, it's in the evening so I've got, it's not natural daylight I'm afraid. Um, but I wanted to kind of pop on and do a bit of an update because I'm, I know it's been a couple of weeks. Um, for those of you who follow me on, oh hang on, back up. First of all, do my socials. So on Instagram, um, if you want to follow me on there, I am Naomi Knits. And on Ravelry, I am Big Bird, B I G G uh, B I R D. Um, so for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you may be aware that I have cast off the Gansey and that was the reason for my delay with recording this podcast because I wanted to kind of, it's, it's finished but it's not finished, finished, finished and I thought am I going to, do I wait until it's completely blocked and everything's finished? But because um, cause my, the person who I'm making it for is coming to see it and hopefully take it away with him um, next week, I, I thought I might not have a chance to, to do it when it's finished properly, properly. Um, so hopefully you'll understand. I'm going to block it tonight. I was waiting for... Um, some blocking mats and some soap to arrive because I thought I had some but I either, either lost them, give them away or who knows. Um, so I wanted to kind of give it a good few days to dry out um, because I'm a bit, usually with my own hand knits, if I've if I've hand washed them a good few times by now, I also uh, I also kind of put them in the washing machine on the spin cycle to kind of get rid of the excess water. And I'm sure I'm, be, I'm sure I'll be fine if I did that with the Gansey, but I thought it would be the first time. I thought, and there's a couple of ends that haven't been woven in. I thought I don't want to chance something catching and then it you know hundreds of hours work gone down the pan. So I'm gonna ring it out best I can. I've got some blocking mats and some blocking pins. And so yeah, I'm gonna get that done tonight. Anyway, I feel like I'm a little bit all over the place. And the reason for that is I've, health-wise, my knee is doing really well and I've got discharge from my physio and I've got discharge from my consultant. Then two hours later, yeah, I had a bit of a weird accident in the kitchen and I misjudged some space and then when I went to kind of move my arm down, I didn't realise how near I was to the oven door and walloped the handle and were after a couple of hours I thought this is still really hurting um it was swelling up it was a bruising I couldn't put any single weight on it so we went to minor injuries and they did some x-rays long story short the I hope I'm getting the job titles right the radiologist so it suspiciously looks like there's a break on the trapezium bone, which is, you get like the metacarpal carpal, thumb, and then it's like a little bone at the bottom there. It's even hurting just gently right there. But he says it's unusual for that bone to break in isolation. Usually there's other bones I'm thinking I thought well I might have just done a proper jackpot right on the corner and it's you know bingo or whatever or it might just be a really bad sprain um so he 
got me suited up with a splint um the swelling has eased a bit today still quite bruised um and i can't you know when you kind of go to push yourself up i can't put any weight on it there um so um they are sending what's the word they kind of want to get like a bit of a second opinion from like a more senior i think it's a senior radiologist i could be wrong or somebody that reviews it or something um so that's gonna be tomorrow so i'm waiting for a call back to see if they want me to go back in and have a cast fitted so every knitter's nightmare <laughs> but i have i have found a little way to knit a little bit slower i'm not to you know it's basically meaning this work this hand's doing more work and this is just kind of like bringing the wall around but um i'm taking it easy and i've got a bit of a plan for if they turn around and say zero knitting for for six weeks i can actually read all the books that i've been meaning to read and just get myself you know organized a bit um and i've also i can also do some podcasts and some different bits and pieces so there we go anyway because it's a little bit more improved today i'm hoping it might just be a sprain we shall see anyway we have a new month and as we know what that means i really like this one look at that so we've got in the silence after thunder's roar she knits what's left of before beneath a sky of smoky gray her needles click the world's dismay her feline friend the cat's there this time look it's there her feline friend with eyes so bright watches on through day and night in the calm of fallout's hush that she stitches on amidst the dust she does have quite a lot of knitting needles and they actually look like they're stabbing her. That's my only criticism on this, this one. But she, look at her, determination. There you go. Right, so as you say, I've, if you would like to be in with a chance of owning one of these apocalyptic knitter calendars for 2025, um, I I'm in possession of a few spare copies and I'm going to do a bit of a giveaway when we, I say when, yes, keep positive, but when we reach 200 subscribers. So feel free to share, like and subscribe and all that stuff. Um, right, I'm going to do a what am I wearing because I always forget that and I think I wore all this last time. I didn't say what it was. This is like a bit of a, an oldie one so i can stand up a little bit so this i didn't i kind of followed a pattern um it the previous jumper i made before this um i used a pattern called nothing but stripes um by a designer called mtd it's an e m T double E D double E and pattern was nothing but stripes and I did that jumper and I really liked the fit the you know it was the right amount of uh, positive negative ease for me and it just really you know suited my shape um so I just I bought this um sweaters worth of quantity and decided to use the um what's the word like the schematic or the the actual um pattern of it um or like the measurements of the pattern without actually doing the stripes and then i had a bit of a contrast yarn that i decided to just do a little bit of different stitch designs to make a bit of a yoke and then the only alteration I did around here, instead of like the garter stitch neckband 
I just did a bit of an eye cord cuff. And yeah. And I did this quite a few years ago. So about six, seven, eight years ago. Um, the wool is from Ripples Craft and it was a colourway, I don't know if she still does it, I have to check, called Stormy Skies. It's Stormy Skies or Stormy Seas? It might even be Stormy Seas. But it's a really beautiful colourway. Um, so, yeah. So that is what I'm wearing. Um, I do have two finished objects. I wonder what one of those is. Um, I managed to finish the Christmas socks. Hurrah! So, oh. So there we go. These were colourway was the Grinch and the yarn was King Cole Party Glitz socks. Uh, yeah, they're all done and I've woven in the ends. Yes. Um, so these are ready to post. Um, so they're done. I might do. Do we do the Gansey now? Yeah, should do now. That's a finisher. Finish object. So, look at that. See if I can perch me up bottom and here. That. So happy with it. I would try it on, but it's not for me, and it feels a bit weird if I'm trying it on. <laughs> but, oh. so I, yes, I was on the second sleeve the last time, and yeah, I've not blocked it, so I'm going to block it. I'm going to kind of, any of these little puckerings here, I'm going to kind of pin those out and just kind of see if I can, um, stretch out the yoke section for a bit but it's um uh yardage wise we bought three cones because they said they being frangipani um said for like a standard like average uh, adult male you're looking at two cones to comfort comfortably do it and um the recipient that i'm making this for is really quite tall um so we decided to kind of get the third one just to be sure and i literally got to the cuff of the second sleeve and that was when i needed the third cone so and there we go and what i've done is yeah, I've done the thumb hole, um, so they can put it in, put their thumb in there to cover the hand, and also they can fold it over. And what I've done is I've just left the tails in on each of the cuffs, because when they come to try it on, because they're coming over um, this coming week, if they need an extra centimeter or so i'm not going to be messing about unpicking a woven in and i can just kind of unpick the cast off um yeah do it like that um but if you try it on go yeah that's perfect i'll go like, give me five minutes to just quickly weave these two ends in and they're off so yes so it is it weighs it feels really quite heavy as i say it's just over a kilogram so but yeah i'm really pleased really pleased with that um oh let me just fold that over nicely and get that undone there so what i without going into too much the the details i kind of felt because i bought this 
well not me but because they'd like paid for the third cone I kind of felt like for me it didn't feel right just going into it a little bit um so we've kind of come to an agreement that I'm going to make a matching hat for them so I started this I went away with my son um I don't know the week would have been half term we went to Wales and went to the um forest coaster in Betsy Code and Zip World oh my god it's brilliant really good fun and then we went went a little bit all around everywhere we went to stayed in Landudno got a little um chief and cheerful hotel and I got a pass to um it's like a three day pass and you can see however many castles you want to um to see I thought it was on a three consecutive day um but I think it's only three days in a 12 month period I could be wrong but we only use one day so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it and like kind of go I don't know February or Easter holidays and so yeah and that worked out at £33 something and it says two adults because obviously it's not an adult is come up to 14 but yeah it was £33 and that is if that's like for three different days now we saw two castles in one day anyway um and the entrance fee is usually about 10 to 15 quid so you're thinking if you if you're somebody like me that likes to get their money's worth and you want to you want to you can plan to see about three or four castles in a day no. um so yes yeah, so we saw conway castle and carnarvon castle so they're like more in the north so i think next time i go there's a few like on the south um, can I visit Pembrokeshire around there? So I might do, might do that. Not so. Anyway, drifting on. So when we're away, we um decided to go to the cinema one evening, and I was able to very quickly cast it on so that I could knit in the cinema. So this is the start, and what I've done here, it's actually on three point. Size of needles I've done. I've done 3.25 mil needles and so far I'm I'm working up to do a five centimetre one by one rib. This is the pattern I'm using is called the One More Mistake Beanie and it's a free pattern from Nick and it's basically gonna be like a, a a broken rib so like a bit of a texture to me it looked a bit like a fisherman's rib um it's that kind of thing so i just thought a little bit of because i wasn't sure if what the gauge would be like with it being five ply on a 3.25 mil needles so i thought if i got a bit of a texture it'll just give that a little bit more substance about it but so far this seems fine um the it's a free pattern so i'm sure they won't mind me saying it's not vague vague but it says in the start of the pattern um for like a, a generic adult size cast on 128 stitches or if you want to make it bigger then um go up in multiples of 16 stitches so that's what i've done i've cast on 128 plus 16 so I've not tried it on myself, but I shall that. I don't want to. I can't stretch it too much because it'll come off the needles. But no, it will be fine. Um, so I'm just waiting. I'm waiting to hear what the hospital say tomorrow, and if they say, yeah, it's just a sprain. Just take it steady, or wear the splint for a week or two, or whatever. Um, so there we go so that's living in my little grey girl bag or book bag there and I've also 
when I finished the Guernsey, I celebrated by picking up my radiate sweater. Is living in, I think, I th what do you think those are? Are they fireflies? Yeah. So, this is lovely. I thought colour coordinated, obviously. And I really wanted to get to the end of the yoke um I'm already cuff and I managed it. Hurrah! It looks a bit of a funny shape, but it's just because it's ribbed and it'll all stretch out. So I used so the pattern is the Radiate Sweater by Hohi Locatelli. It's quite a popular one. Let's move that out of the way. And it's on DK, it's a paid for pattern, so I can't kind of give too much deets away. But I used, I had a, like a multi-pack, is that the right word? Well, I had a set of five times 20 gram DK minis that kind of faded into like pink variegated and then it goes into the purples and blues and then more blues. So I thought they would go quite well. Um, I wasn't sure at one point if there would be contrast enough against, like, so this is what the main body is going to be, this really rich magenta. Um, but I think, I think it works quite okay, actually. And as I say, the only person that has to like it is me, really, isn't it? So the minis I got from Third Vault Yarns. The lovely indie dyer. And then I saw... Because I think I was going to do it against a grey. But then I spotted um, this mane at Ripple's Craft. And it's called... Can I find it? I think it's called um, Berry Smoothie. Not got the colour name with me, just got a little. But it's just a really, really beautiful. It kind of reminds me almost as if it's got like a bit of a metallic sheen on it. Do you know what I mean? If that's a wound up in the car. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of got like a little bit of a something about it. So yeah, so this is on the DK. So I absolutely I'm happy with that. I'm I've almost finished the short rows. So I'll show you my stitch marker of where I was up to. Ooh. So that little hat was where I was kind of stuck on. And I plow through. And now, yeah. So I'm almost at a bit. I think I've just got one more row to do. And then I separate the body and the sleeves. So that is lovely. Um, what else have I got? Oh, and then lastly, I, don't, I can't remember when I did these actually. But I did like a bit of a, a bit of a stint. And I've given these a little bit of love and attention. So these are some socks for my lovely little cousin Shanae. And so it's pink, green, orange, yellow, and then it goes back to the pink. And these are a self-striping, obviously. Uh, and I think it's called uh, Hand Dye by Kate. Hand Dye by Kate. Yes, hand dye by Kate. Um, and there. So, yeah, I don't think I'm quite approaching the heel just yet, but it's kind of getting a bit of, getting a bit of TLC and attention on there. So, that is me. And I'm, oh, let me just have a little drink. My hot chocolate at the moment. How are you getting on with the um, 
clock's going back and it's dark in it. Yeah. Oh well. So we've got to make sure we get out in the daylight. Even if we don't want to, try and get out for a little bit of a little bit of a walk for half an hour at least in the morning. I know I'm a bugger for it, but I always feel a bit weird just for the first week or two when I go into a new a new season. Um but then once once I'm used to it I'm alright. Um so yes. And I think the last thing I've got to show you is something rather special. So these are a couple of cardigans that my auntie made. Um, and she made them through lockdown. And my auntie was quite um, an inspiration to me when I was growing up with knitting. She didn't teach me to knit my mum taught me to knit and one of my primary school teachers taught me to purl that was quite a scarce that to peel um and but because my auntie did lots of knitting and just really prolifically doing baby cardigans and all that i was just i just thought she was like the bee's knees i still do so she did a whole load of cardigans through lockdown and is fine, as finally has uh, very kindly agreed to let me take two for my friend and her gorgeous baby Ruthie. So these are very cute. And so she, my auntie loves um, the snowflake, said our snowflake and but yeah my auntie just never uses a pattern so that is just so snuggly and that one and i think it's like a pale a pale pink acrylic in the background and then this one here so cute i don't know if you can see but the white is all like, like a twinkly on there and just like a little bit that's like more of a subtle subtle colours there oh, so cute and I think what she did and she'd be appalled if she saw my sister but she kind of is from that kind of um see generation it's probably really too harsh a word but when um they would literally buy enough wool just for the projects that they were working on and then kind of use augments as they go. Um, and so I think that's why, like on here, it was obviously just like a little bit, enough left to just do like a couple of little stripes at the bottom. So, so yeah. So I think she said that she'd made like loads in a suitcase um, like when it was like locked down and she was just everyone was kind of staying in um but yeah so i said if you if you'd like i can give a couple of home a very loving home so so i picked those up this afternoon so i'm going to arrange to see my friend to drop them off for her little girl so so yes yeah, so i think that wraps it up for me um wraps it up for me on this one and so i'm i'm hoping to have some knitting content for you pending on this if i don't i'll do you know i'll wing it i'll do a couple of episodes i might do like a bit of a stash dive episode and i might do a um show you all my long-term blanket projects that I don't always really show. I think I go because I can hear footsteps coming down the stairs. So right, I'm just finishing off. So just raiding the fridge. Um but yeah. So anyway, what will be will be. Um and I will see you next time. Right. Take care and I hope you are having 
lots of fun with your knitting and please keep me in your thoughts. Oh, yeah. All right, take care. Bye for now.